What's up? Just made myself some chamomile tea, as you saw, with a little bit of honey, and I am currently packing. I'm currently packing to go to Cleveland this weekend. So it is Wednesday night, and I'm gonna do a pack with me video, but this is going to be probably the chillest packing video you've ever watched on YouTube because I'm literally just gonna talk about my thought process behind packing, how I pack for a trip, and this awesome bag that I have, and how it's changed my life. So, let's get started. All right, so, this weekend I'm going to Cleveland, Ohio, which is where I am from, it's where Mitch is from, it's where our families and our friends are still at. So it is my friend's bridal shower and bachelorette party this weekend, and I am flying into Cleveland for it. Mitch is staying home, and so I'm flying by myself. I leave tomorrow, and I'm leaving from work. So I know I just announced that I, we quit our jobs, and this we still have two weeks. So that is why I am leaving from the office. So I'm going to... Um, have to bring all this stuff to the office, so this packing is going to be a little strategic because I'm not checking a bag, I'm only bringing a carry-on and a backpack. So, first I wanna talk about this bag that I have, and it's the base bag, it's the Weekender bag in beige. It's a little um, wrinkly because it was just sitting in the closet, but it's, I would show you the inside. Okay, I'll take it out but I put like all my underwear and stuff in there. <laughs> Not thinking. So yeah, it has this nice little pocket right here. Um, zipper compartment with other compartments here. Um, this little thing that I think that, I'm actually not sure what these are for, but I think you can attach um, like your makeup bag and whatever. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. And then it has, it came with a little um, like lost and found, like delivered, like if found, please. I don't know what those are called. And then there's a pocket on the front. And what the coolest part is, that, which came in real handy when you travel with a suitcase, is here, this unzips right here. So you just slide the handle to your suitcase and this just rests right on top of your suitcase so it's really nice i really like it and this compartment on the bottom right here is for your shoes so it's very handy i absolutely love it i'll have it linked below um if you want me to do like a full review on it i will but i feel like it's the shea mitchell created this brand and so many people use it and she just perfected it. It makes me want all of this stuff because she's designed it so it's perfect for travel. But anyway, okay. So like I said, I'm going tomorrow, which is Thursday, and I'll be leaving on Sunday. So I'll need an outfit for Friday, an outfit for the shower for Saturday, an outfit for the bachelorette party on Saturday, and then an outfit for Sunday okay so I kind of have them planned out what I like to do sorry I keep moving out of the frame because I'm in a, at a weird angle what I like to do is think about what I'm going to be doing that weekend and then plan specific outfits and try them on beforehand and then kind of have them all grouped together so Friday I'm going to be running errands getting lunch with friends and working from home so Oh, and working out. So, I got my workout clothes. And if I want to work out Saturday morning, then I'll just wash these. And I'll probably wash these anyways Friday, just because I'll be at my parents' house. So, I'll have access to a washing machine, which is a huge factor when packing, for me at least, is will there be a washing machine available? Because if there will, I can definitely pack less because I can wash things like socks and underwear and pajamas and lounge clothes and workout clothes so I can actually pack the things that, the cute outfits that I'd wanna wear. Okay, so I got my workout clothes and then Friday we will just be doing lunch and working. So I'm bringing um, 
a t-shirt and jeans and then I'll wear my tennis shoes with this outfit. And then Friday night, we're having like a wine night. So I just have my sweatpants and my tank top that I'll wear. That I'll wear this to bed too. And then I always bring a sweater that will match with almost every outfit. So I'm bringing this white pullover sweater from Urban Outfitters. So pack that. And then Saturday is the bridal shower. So I got my dress for the bridal shower and I'll put my shoes at the bottom of the bag. I'm bringing these that I'll wear to the shower and I'll wear these to the bachelorette party just so I don't have to bring two pairs of heels. I plan my outfits so that those shoes would match both of my outfits. And then I'm wearing this black romper, which I checked the weather. That's another tip is check the weather when you are traveling. And I am just amazed at how much of a freeze baby I have become since moving to Nashville because it is supposed to be 75 degrees which is the high in Cleveland this weekend and that is freaking freezing to me and the only other black outfit I had was a long like really fancy black dress which I was like no I'm not wearing that so I'm gonna bring this leather jacket because I feel like I'm gonna be cold um, but yeah I don't know what happened to me I'm I've turned into a literal freeze baby so yeah that's that and then Sunday which will be like my airport outfit is just going to be um, these biker shorts that I just got actually from TJ Maxx and this shirt which is kind of like my go-to weekend shirt now it's so comfortable it's so huge so comfortable I love it so much so yeah that's kind of how I plan my outfits this weekend was, I'm not planning on doing much besides hang out with my friends and family. So there's there weren't many different outfits I needed because I'm literally, I have specific things that I need outfits for. Like the shower, Sunday I'm literally just going to the airport, Friday I'm just going to lunch. Like we're not doing too much so I didn't need a ton of stuff so that was really nice this trip but I'll do another one of these because I'm also going on another trip which will be me going to Cleveland and then going to Salt Lake and then going back to Cleveland and then coming home to Nashville so that'll be an extreme pack with me so yeah now jewelry um I am going to wear my rings uh I always have my engagement rings and then this little ring that I got in high school my friends and I all have matching ones it has our initials on it and then this was my mom's and then I'll have my Apple watch and these earrings always stay in and I'm going to bring two pairs of hoops I mean two pairs of earrings I'm going to bring these gold hoops which are from H&M and then I'm going to bring these seashell little danglies which are also from H&M they actually came in the same pack and I put those in the Ziploc baggie. So I have a photo to shoot. I have a product that I have to shoot for a brand and I'm going to bring it and have one of my friends help me out with the photo because I did not have time this week to shoot it. So I'm gonna shoot this bracelet from Missouri and it came with this cute duster bag. So I'm actually putting the bracelet in here and then I'm just going to stick the rest of my jewelry in here. And I'm going to wear my Missouri Sun necklace and I might layer it with another necklace. I'm not sure. I'll show you in the vlog that I do of me going home. But I'll stick this stuff in this bag as well. So my bag is almost packed. It still honestly has tons of room in it. I still need to grab my straightener but I'm going to take a shower tonight and do my hair so that I can pack my straightener tomorrow. And then... I am going to pack my makeup and actually I'll take you and we'll pick out some, let's see what I'm going to bring. I'll just show you. Like I said, oh my goodness, this camera is being wild. Okay. Like I said, this is, oh, my shower curtain is open. 
This is probably the chillest pack with me video you've ever watched. But I'm just trying to make it seem like I'm hanging out with a friend because if my oh my god, I'm so bad at this right now. If my friend was over, this is what I would be doing. I got these, all of these hair products in for free from Sephora right before we got married when I went to go buy our wedding makeup and I had that in a vlog so I'll link it below so you can see everything that I got. But I'm actually, this is perfect for travel. So I'm just gonna grab one of these. Um, I just grabbed this one, Playa Everyday Shampoo and Conditioner. So I'm gonna bring this one, stick that in my bag. I have this little travel product that I'll bring just in case I want to shower when I'm not at my mom's because if I'm at my mom's then I can borrow her stuff and then I'll bring my hairbrush and I'll bring my straightener but besides that that's probably all I'll bring because everywhere that I go will have a hair dryer so I'm not worried about that and why waste room if I can just borrow somebody's and then I have these little this is a little tip for you I have these little travel sizes that I got in one of my beauty boxes, Allure beauty boxes, and this is soap and it's out. So I'm just gonna take my face soap and fill it in this little travel size container. And then same for, I have the exact same container, but it's a toner. So I'll just fill my toner in that little tiny container and then I'll have my toner and it won't be a problem. But besides that, I think that's it for my bathroom stuff, just my makeup, right? Oh, my toothpaste. I'm gonna need to buy toothpaste when I go there. I don't have travel toothpaste and I'm not going to the store tonight. So yeah, and then I'm actually going to be using Mitch's bag for all of my electronic stuff, which actually isn't that interesting. I'm literally bringing my laptop and my external hard drive with all of my chargers, the headphones, my planner, and typically I would bring one of these with me. Um, I always bring a resistance band, but I know that my dad has them in his basement, so I don't need that. But it's a little tip if you're going to a hotel, you're not sure what the gym is gonna be, if you're traveling and you know that the person does not have any workout things, I always pack one of these little ones for your ankle and then I have a long one. Literally, these are always in my travel bag because I do the Melissa Wood Health workouts and she has them just on the computer. You can access it from your phone. So I always have a workout with me and even if you don't use that, you can always use body weights for a workout but that's just a little tip because these literally can be stuffed in your bag. They weigh nothing and it's just, they're super cheap. I think I bought those on Amazon and I got like a ton for, I don't know, super cheap, but I'll link them below so that you can get those. But I think that's it. I feel bad this video was kind of all over the place, but do you think I did a good job of explaining everything? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Oh, should I pack my tennis shoes too? Yeah. So I can go on a walk? Yeah. So I can take the dogs for a walk? Yeah. Okay, so I'll pack my tennis shoes too, and I'll pack all of my shoes in this little compartment. I'm gonna show you, just so you can maybe take away some value from this. I feel like this was the craziest vlog, but that's just how my life has been, crazy. And I wanted to try a pack with me, and I'm not a professional. Okay, so. This is the bottom of the suitcase. So what I like to do is stick my shoes in here. It's kind of weird because you're literally just sticking. You're literally sticking the bag straight on top of your shoes, but then you just zip it up. And then your shoes are just here in the bottom and they don't ruin any of your clothes or anything and it's really nice, super convenient and I mean it's like the cutest bag you've ever seen. Right babe? Yep. 
I want all of it. Can I get the um, backpack? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then I'll just steal yours. Thanks. Okay. okay. So that's it. I mean, I'll try this next time and see if I can get better at it. But this was just kind of a little chat with me. Explain what me explaining what I'm packing and yeah, so excuse me. I am tired and I've got lots going on. So I feel like this is kind of just real life of I'm not going to put on makeup for you. I'm not going to put on a cute outfit. I'm still in my work clothes from today and I'm not just going to throw on a bunch of jewelry and makeup and do my hair to film a YouTube video because I don't think that you have to do that to get value. Um, hopefully this video helped you kind of organize your packing structure a little bit if you weren't super organized before. I mean, I don't even think that this is super organized. I normally am even crazier about packing, but this was just a quick weekend trip and I already knew all the outfits I had. So hopefully you got a little bit of little few tips from this and I will see you guys next time. You wanna say bye? Bye. <laughs>